hello guys this is tabs welcome to my youtube channel i'm so excited to be sharing another video with you and in this video i want to show you exactly how to get a wildcard ssl and that's just an ssl certificate for your subdomains for some reasons i i know that lots of people how they would really sincerely desire to know exactly how to get this done because i know some web hosting how they provide less encrypt ssl for their users but they would charge you to get a wildcard ssl and that's for your subdomain doesn't it make sense right if you have a multi-site you have a domain and subdomain that you use together you would definitely would not love the idea of one being secured and the other one not secured you want to have an encrypted relationship between your multi-site and this is something i really want to show you exactly how to get that done in this video and i want to say again thank you i appreciate people subscribe who comment on my youtube channel because when you get to interact with me you help me know exactly what to do sometimes it can get so crazy you do a lot of stuff you really don't even know what video to produce next i really had to upload this video because someone asked me a question on my latest video and the question was that wildcard certificate is used to be free but now that zero ssl has taken over they are charging for this service is there a free alternative and i just will okay wow then if you really want to know how to upload how to get a wildcard ssl i think i can do a video showing you guys how to get that done so please if you're watching this video if you have any question please always drop them for me in the comment section below i will always appreciate it uh, please give me feedback subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, this channel is quite very small right now i really want to grow it bigger than now so please i appreciate the support as much as possible as you can so without waiting so much of your time let me show you exactly how to get that done this side definitely is loading on http and not https so i have also created another subdomain uh, which is learn.dafstesting.ml so i want to show you in this video how to install an ssl on the domain that would work directly with the subdomain so i uh, registered this domain with freenum a free domain with freenum.com and i've hosted this wordpress website on ipage web hosting account so i want to show you exactly how that is done first things first you want to go to cloudflare if you don't have a cloudflare account you can sign up for a free one it's very simple and easy it's as simple as just providing an email account and a password and you have access to your cloudflare dashboard so if you create an account with them you will come to this members area where you have an opportunity for you to add a site so i will click the add a site button and then i can now post my domain here that testing.ml then i can add this site and then the next thing for us is to get the free plan and then we confirm this plan and right about now cloudflare as usual would run a scan on our existing dns record to fetch them and that is done and we can see this is our existing dns record so that's is pointing to this ip address and that ip address is for cloud is for ip page hosting so i'll continue this the next thing we have to do right now is to update our name servers from ns1.ipage.com to cloudflare's name servers so i'll be doing that now in a bit so if you are watching this video you just go to your domain registrar and it, it should be the same process it may not just be the exact this is dabs testing.ml here so i have to manage this and go to my name servers just find your way around to the name servers and update them so i have ip here so i'll be So I hit the change name server button and now we go back to Cloudflare. Now that these name servers have been changed, then I can click the done check name servers button. I'll finish this later. And now, yes, this is done and we have to confirm if our site now is live on Cloudflare. So as we can see here, that testing.ml is still pending name servers update. And usually it could take a while, it could take 
some minutes before this gets done the depending okay fantastic great news cloudflare is now protecting your website and we got this we got this working in less than a minute that's very very good i must appreciate cloudflare for that unlike before you may really have to wait some minutes before your website goes live and that's that's quite commendable the next thing you want to do right now is to hit your dns button and once you come here you should be able to see your existing dns record and this is the dns record that is existing for our domain so we have a ww version and the normal version here so we are going to add a new record and once we click that we can come to an a record and now we are going to be pointing our subdomain to to the same ip address which is that of ip page actually so now we're going to point this here okay so we leave it at a record and what we're going to be doing right now is that our subdomain is len.testing.ml so what we're going to be copying is just this len alone we don't need to put the whole of the domain just copy len and then we paste it here all right so let's save this okay so we've added an a record for len so this a record will help point our subdomain to to cloudflare so now we have to come to our ssl and tsl so we're going to be using uh an ssl from cloudflare and as you can see here we have the full uh, which is good and i think that's what we want just make sure that your ssl is not ticked off here so what, what we can do here again is for us to come to our uh, edge certificates here and then come down here so while scrolling down you see please always use https it's this on if you make this on your site will definitely be redirected to https so any request coming from your site both from http will definitely automatically redirect to https uh, let me check and see this is the subdomain and the subdomain is already loading a green secured padlock and let's check our home page as well and see the domain seems not to be loading a secured padlock here if i conclude i need to worry about anything let me check this on a chrome and in an incognito mode and let me see so i'll post the domain here so bingo our domain load on https with a secured padlock so thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel i appreciate that please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions please drop them for me in the comment section below i appreciate them all i'll see you in my next video bye for now